June 22, 1924. That is the most famous portrait painter in Philadelphia. Mother sent me to buy Ladyfingers for dessert. I ran all the way so I could stop by his studio on the way home. I like to watch Bernadette. Honey, why don't you fetch me some earrings and a necklace? No, not in the daytime, Mother says. Your mother is an English teacher. She has to dress that way. I don't, because I'm your daddy's model. Hmm? Well, I'm dazzled. Daddy! <laughs> We're losing the light, sweetheart. When are you going to meet me, Daddy? Well, not today. Go play with the children outside. They won't let me. Uh, uh, uh. Respect. Do not tolerate that kind of disrespect. You are better than they are. You are smarter than they are. Show them. But... Uh, uh. Show them. So long, princess. Hey, you look stupid. Throw me the ball. Get out of the way, fatso. The lady fingers. So, Jacqueline, what was the most interesting thing that happened to you today? Did you see Daddy? I went to the park. Hmm. I saw a baby bird. It fell. Oh, dear. Did it die? I thought it was dead. But when I picked it up, it opened its big blue arms and flew me to my wishing hill. So long, princess, it said. And I wished to the sky, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> What a storyteller you are. <laughs> if you get ready for bed, I'll come up and help you write it in your diary. <laughs> my girl, my most beautiful girl, you are so talented. The whole world is going to know who you are. Bob, don't fill her head up with that. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world. <laughs> didn't tell. Do you know what that makes you? What? An actress. I am? Mm -hmm. Do you know what they do for a really great actress? They take a thousand lights and they write her name in the night sky. Like you write on your paintings. Yes, so everyone will know it's an original Suzanne. Like me. Yes, you are an original Suzanne. Jacqueline Susan. Suzanne. Your cue is coming up. When I left for New York, Mother was worried. She said there were thousands of girls who were prettier and more talented than me. But I did it. I landed my first part on Broadway. One line. In French. Daddy's so proud, he gave me his pearl tie pin for luck. Madame has been soaking for an hour. Soaking. Soaking for an hour. How where? Try how where? How air? <sighs> Madame has been soaking for a how air. Ooh, it's better. Give me a puff. You shouldn't smoke. It's wrong for your look. Radcliffe? Vassar. Pearls and gloves and flawless. You shouldn't smoke. Jackie Suzanne. B. Cole. You're the producer's panic. Uh-huh. Max Gordon's doing someone a favor. Oh, producer's panic. Don't you love it? Everyone knows who I am already. <laughs> they sure do. Oh, honest to God, I never even met Max Gordon. Someone, thank you. Um, my dad knows a lot of people, and someone made a phone call, and then... Oh. Max Gordon wants to see me. I'm 
I was fired. He said I had no business being on the stage. Who do I have to French to get in a radio? Daddy's disappointed in me. Well, he didn't actually say it. He just gave the phone to Mother. B introduced me to Greenwood's drugstore. Jackie, I thought you told me to meet you at your office. Greenwood's is everyone's office. Mine's the second booth. Buddy boy's been yakking for an hour. Oh, I love the look. Thanks. Oh, B. Cole. Joyce Matthews. Billy Rose stole her from the Follies for his review. And now it's getting personal. <laughs> you lucky dog. It's love. Coffee, please. I'll have a coffee also. That's for me. Hello. Who may I say is calling? One minute, please. Irving Mansfield, the press agent. Walter Winchell, the columnist. Mr. Mansfield is at another phone. May he call you back? Thanks, Mr. Winchell. He says he's on deadline. And I'm at lunch. You got the sheep double parked? Excuse me? Well, peep. Like I'm interested in the opinion of a man in a gray coat and brown pants. It sets you apart from the other girls. They're getting nowhere fast. I could handle any one of them. She'd be a known commodity in a couple of weeks. I can sell them by the pound. How? The columns. Leonard Lyons, Ed Sullivan, Winchell. There's 11 papers in New York, and they've all got columns. And to think, people imagine talent has something to do with the deal. This is a full-time job. They should be at the clubs, working the clubs and getting quoted. They don't want it bad enough. I do. Good for you. See you around. Aloof little... What did you say? You heard me. And that's how deals are made. He was cute. And I needed a publicist. And Irving, he needed... Well... I had plenty of what he needed. He enlisted right after we got married. Finally, his jacket matched his pants. Here's to the newlyweds. Health, happiness, and an heir for your father. We'll leave the more elaborate toast to Bob. I'll go check on dinner. Where is Daddy? He's working, dear. Hardest working man in Philadelphia. For Pete's sake, Mother, he's with Doris. I'll bring you something to tide you over. I'm fine, Rose. You're his wife. Whatever he's doing, it's his business, not mine. Tonight's supposed to be my celebration. Why don't you pour Irving another drink, hmm? You've got a beautiful mother. Mm-hmm. Why don't you lay off her? Irving, you know nothing about this. You know who you're really mad Drop at. Drop it. Already. Our first fight. You wanted to get married. You don't cook, you don't clean, or stay home at night. My life will never be dull. So... Where's the picture of you? Didn't your father paint you? Everyone thinks because a person's a painter, he has time to paint everyone, including the dog. Why? Just it's not thought. as though he never painted me. I sat for him when I was 16. I'd like to see it. Well, he never finished it. Couldn't get the hands right. Ah. Close the door, Jackie. The drive. Daddy? Herbie, make the train all right to Port Dix? Yes. Good. We don't want you dying on the vine without him. I'll come see you in Manhattan, do the clubs. With you on my arms, we'll turn some heads. <laughs> I'm touring in a show, I told you, Daddy, with my friend, B. Touring? And while we're gone, we're writing a play with parts for ourselves. Write, don't write, but be brilliant. Daddy, can we Decide please... Decide what you want and jump with both your feet. Jump! Hmm? My daughter Jackie. She's beautiful. She's brilliant. She's talented. She's smart. She went to Vassar. Daddy, B went to Vassar. Illusion. The buttocks is there. The buttocks is not there. I do it. An original Suzanne. Don't worry about me. No matter what it takes. I'll get there any way I can. Bye, Daddy. 
So long, Toots. There. Five scenes. I'm going out. I don't want to sit in the bar all night. We won't. We'll go to the Shapery. That gravy, no, is a $5 cover. I can get us comped. Who's headlining at the Shea Perry? Joey Lewis. Oh, he invited the cast. Jackie, no. What can I say? I'm sick for comedians. You're a married woman. Oh, it's all right for a man to jump from bed to bed, but a woman has to play by different rules. Where did you learn that from? Finishing school? Here. Put some of this on your face. It'll keep you in for the night. Some people say I drink too much, and I resent it. I don't deny it. I just resent it. He's got the whole room. He tells them what to do and when to do it. You know, they say you only live once. But if you play your cards right, once is enough. What is it with you? He's a drunk with a sense of humor. I could eat him with a spoon. <laughs> no matter who a woman sleeps with, she only thinks of one man. Nothing I do in my career, in my life, seems to make any difference. Until today, May 5th, 1946, I'm pregnant. Me, pregnant. We go to Central Park every day. Sitting on my wishing hill, I feel our baby move inside me. Guy Mansfield, six pounds, seven ounces. I finally made Daddy proud. <laughs> I've been waiting a generation for a boy in this family. An original Suzanne. Mm. Mwah. Go to Papa. Oh. <laughs> Isn't Guy lost weight? Maybe a little. He's not eating. I tried rice, cereal, warm, cold, everything. I don't know, maybe I should have breastfed. <laughs> baby, baby. Calling the doctor. 